Hi, welcome to a brand new AutoCAD 2013 video tutorial and it's really new, no remake. Please consider I did it in a certain way because the other ways which you might think could work don't work, at least with my version. So let's start with a sketch. Move right here. I need a line from zero zero up to two seven nine zero. Enter. Zoom in. Maybe change the line width. To twenty, no, let's say thirty. And activate this. Okay, then I need an arc. Start and radius. It starts here. Goes to eighty. Eighty, and the radius is eighty. And then I need another line, which goes straight up. So it's 80 plus 80. Yeah, should do it. Then join these elements and make it a 3D poly, or 2D poly in this case. And then I want to rotate my axis system around the y-axis. Default is 90. Make it top. Okay, and then I need a line from here which goes up uh, 50. And then I need an arc again start and radius which starts right here goes at 50 50 and the radius should be 50 yeah now I have to turn this one. Base one should be this. And should be rotated over here. Activate author, yes. And then you should move this from here to that one. Okay. And right over here, okay. Now let's connect these two. And maybe move it from here to here. Okay, now I want to make some extrude surfaces. Extrude this, enter over here, and extrude, where is it, here. That one over here. Okay, make 
intersect between this surface and that surface and the result should be on another layer, so it should be on this layer and okay, looks nice and I need a line from here which goes That's, let's say that's, I think, fifteen, fifteen, yes, that's fifteen. Enter. So let's hide the sketches. Okay. And then I want to change the splines into pulley lines. This one is an arc, that is an arc, this one is an arc. So I've got one, two, great, three arcs. If I join these three arcs, I get a spline. So, really, three arcs, great. Now I need a circle. So, activate sketches. And there's a circle right here, which has a radius of 20. And I want to make copies of these. All of this activated, so I move it right up here and make this distance, let's say, 500. And enter. Okay, and then change the radius of this one to. 18. Nice. So in order to make the sweeps, you cannot join these arcs to one spline because the sweep will not work. So you have to make, I think, three sweeps right here for every arc one sweep, but it doesn't matter. So I go for removed volume and make one sweep with this profile and uh, along the arc. Okay. Maybe I hide the sketches. Okay. Then I want to extract the edges of this. Yep. Make another sweep. Go to move volume. Take this circle. Enter and that path, again extract the edges, and back to removed volume, and sweep this one along that path, and uh, that path. Maybe I change this to realistic. Yeah. So it's easy to recognize what I'm doing. Extract edges from this body. I'll change it first to curves. Okay. Yep. And do another sweep with this circle. 
Oh, you could do an extrude as well. Oh, I should do an extrude. I make an extrude. So I go for extrude the circle. Enter up to this point and change it to the correct layer, this one. And make another extrude. If you can do extrude, it's better than to do a sweep. So I take this circle, enter, and go up to this end point and again change it to the right layer. Removed volume. So I will repeat the same steps over here. Just make the sketches visible. Change the layer to volume. So, volume and make a sweep with that circle along that arc. Yep. Hide your sketches. Extract the edges. I'll change it to curves. Extract edges, okay. Then back to volume, sweep the circle along that path. Again, extract the edges. Sweep again. Extract and make an extrude. Change it to volume, circle, enter, right to this end point, okay. And another extrude, that circle, enter up to this end point, okay. Maybe hide the curves and make a union between this one, that one, that one, and that one, and another union. Okay. Now I want to make a rectangular array. So I want to take this and make it non associative, make it in set directions three one in that direction, one in that direction, and the distance in between is minus 82. 
close the array and the same right below that's the object and again minus 82 1 and 1 come on 1 3 close the array now join these bodies and that bodies maybe hide this so make a union of these bodies yes and make a union with these okay then move this body back into place 500 and subtract make subtract green and remove the red one take a look looks good yeah this really looks nice maybe I change it to x-ray so I can take a look Yes, that's okay. So this concludes the first part of this video tutorial. Uh, see you to the next part. Bye.